these are, in my opinion, the best 1x1 to 10x10 piston doors. Now, emphasis on the my opinion part. What I'm looking for is that it has to be really fast while being relatively small, it has to have few or preferably no entities, it has to be non-locational and non-directional, and it has to have a nice animation. So basically, which door would I build in my survival base? But anyway, let's get to my picks. So first we have the best 1x1, and yeah, it's pretty complex, I know. And like I know that there are some designs in which you have a piston that pushes the player down so that they can crawl through the door, but I don't know, that seems kind of janky and slow to me, so I personally wouldn't use it. Then we have the best 2x2 that I put together in like 5 minutes. And so here's the animation, yeah it's pretty fast. So the way these 2x2 doors are usually made is that from the pressure plates you have a redstone line that powers into a redstone torch that starts retracting the pistons. But that has 0.1 seconds of input delay, so instead I use a piston that pushes out a redstone block to make the door block start to retract instantly. So that way it's just ever so slightly faster. I mean it's barely noticeable, but on laggy servers it might make the difference of you not poking into the door. Alright so then we get to the actually good doors, and starting with the best 3x3 made by Lumendo. So the opening and closing times are both 0.3 seconds, although opening does take an extra 0.15 seconds to become seamless. And sure it's definitely on the bigger side of like small and fast 3x3s, but for what it does, which is to have the fastest possible opening for the layout, it is actually really small. Also the fact that it also has 0.3 second closing is quite impressive for a door of this type. So just overall a really good door in terms of size and speed. But if you do want a little smaller design, there is for example this one, made by me, Jensen Glass, Pixie Blocks and also Lumendo. The opening is completely maxed out at 0.6 seconds at only 72 blocks, which is incredibly small for what it does. There is also a tutorial and explanation on Pixiebloxx's channel if you're interested. Then for the best 4x4, I chose this one made by Iboi Men Slad, love that name by the way, with the help of, well, me. So it has an opening and closing time of just 0.45 seconds, and I just love the animation, especially on the opening, it's so clean. This is actually the smallest 4x4 of this speed at only 396 blocks, which is quite cool. So originally, this door was made by just your boy main slide, but then I took a look at it, and I realized that it was actually 0.5 seconds, it was unsynchronized, and it had reset time. So it just kind of came along and helped him fix all of those issues. And now this is pretty much the best that a 4x4 can get. I'm not being biased at all. Also, if you wanna build this yourself, there is a tutorial on your boy's channel. And now for the best 5x5. And honestly, small and fast 5x5 deserve a video of their own, because of like how much development there has been recently. But I did end up choosing this design, made by Lumendo, Timurman 8 and Soul Banished. So the closing is 0.75 seconds, and the opening is 0.9. And the animation on opening is just so nice. So the most noteworthy thing with this door is that it's 5 wide instead of the usual 6. And to do that you need to have sand or other blocks that can fall in the side hipsters, which is just insane. Also the door uses some really smart top and bottom layouts, which I haven't looked too much into how they work. Just overall a really great door. I also do want to shout out this 1.05 second 5x5 made by Speed9 that is only 4 wide, which is just also insane. I genuinely don't understand how you fit in all that wiring, especially with the more complicated side hipster layout. Then for the 6x6, I chose this design made by J2KO with the help of Choose42. The closing time is about 1 second, and the opening is 2.35 seconds, which is really quite fast considering the size. So this door is a lot different compared to the other ones, because it's very top and bottom heavy and doesn't use side hipsters. But that way it's able to be really small while still being really quite fast. This one is actually version 2 of an older 6x6 made by Just J2KO, that was slightly slower. But recently he teamed up with Choose42 to make this, that is the same size while having slightly faster opening and closing times. One downside with the new one is that it does use an entity, but it's just one and it's an armor stand so it's really not that bad. And it's definitely worth it for the faster animation. I also do want to shout out this 6x6 made by Lumendo that is 1.2 seconds. Now it is considerably bigger, but again for what it does it's very small. Also it uses more entities, but still it's a really nice 6x6. Then it's time for the best 7x7. So I chose this one made by Raynew or SadRS and riddle me this, or the memer, or warwogger21. Holy crap this door is made by some indecisive people. So the closing is completely maxed out at 0.9 seconds and the opening is 2.15 seconds. And once again the animation is incredibly clean. 
So now we get to the doors that use practically the same side hipster setup, in which you spam zero dicks with a 3 game tick interval to these pistons, and that practically does the whole sequence. Also it uses targets inside the block storage to get rid of any input delay, which I also find really interesting. The top is just a folded piston extender with an observer slider, and bottom is block storage and also a fold. Now this design is 7 wide and there are smaller 6 wide designs, like this 2.1 second design by Timmerman 8, and this 1.95 second one by Alugia 7. But I chose this one because it's still really small and compared to the other two, this one is entityless. But yeah, they're all really nice designs. Also there is this 1.2 second design by Timmerman, but that animation, just, you know, I don't care how small it is, I'm not putting that in my base. Okay, sorry, that was a little mean. But to compensate, I chose this design by Timmerman for the best 8x8. The closing is maxed out at 1.05 seconds, and the opening is also maxed out at 2.4 seconds. And the animation is just so clean. It's completely symmetrical, and the last moves are all in sync, like what more could you ask for? The story is practically the same side setup as the 7x7, but just slowed down, because it's capped out by the top at 2.4 seconds. And once again, the top is a fold with some observer sliders. Bottom is just a piston extender with block storage, which I'm pretty sure Leech just pulls it from the side clock. And the whole door is not that big, at least compared to some of the previous 8x8s he designed. Now recently he did also make this 1.5 second design that used slime and honey, kinda like a certain 10x10. <coughs> but the animation just isn't as nice in my opinion, even though it is considerably faster. Yeah, this is kind of the odd one out. But like, there just are no good 9x9s currently. Like, I'm not saying that this isn't good, but like, I would never even consider building this in survival. But anyway, it's a design made by Lugia7, and the closing is 1.75 seconds, and the opening is 3.05 seconds. And it's currently the fastest 9x9. Also, it is locational and doesn't work here. I mean, I can show you what it does, I guess. Just, yeah. If this video gets 20k likes, I'll make an actually good 9x9. Yeah, sorry if I'm not being very humble with this pick, but there just are no better 10x10s out there currently. So this design is made by me, and it closes in 0.75 seconds, and opens in 1.8. Both are completely maxed out. So yeah, this is an improved version of this 10x10 that blew up on YouTube for some reason. And it uses slime and honey extender thingies that pull the blocks back, and for their traction, I use folds instead of normal piston extenders, unlike in the original. Then I just push the door blocks up and down, so that the slime and honey can get into place. Then the rest is just like 10 different sliders. I do want to shout out this 4.9 second 10x10 made by Lugia that is slimeless. But yeah, it does take twice as long to open, but still it's a really nice door. So yeah, those were my picks for the best 1x1 to 10x10 piston doors. And again, I highly encourage you to check out and support the original creators. They are all linked in the description. They are all very underrated, and I hope this video helps bring them more recognition. But yeah, that's about it. Okay, bye.